On this, the fifth anniversary of the Iraq War, an anemia of words plagues me. I am still revolted by the atrocities that take place on a daily basis, but it's hard to keep up. Gaza. Gaza distracts me from Baghdad, and I feel guilty for ignoring my Iraqi dead. I still flare up in a rage every now and then, whenever I can work up my senses from the deluge of carnage that on a good day we serve as impotent witnesses to, if not collaborators in the execution. Unwilling executioners, perhaps, but executioners nonetheless. Another anniversary and a new opportunity to honor the memory not of the dead in Iraq, but of the living in America. As we watch with exemplary composure and self-restraint the war shrieking ahead. I ask myself, what is our responsibility as citizens of a democracy in the wars of our elected politicians? And what is our responsibility to those, toward those on the receiving end of these wars? Iraq has been destroyed. The land of Gilgamesh and Enkidu, home of Dijla and Furat, the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, the blood veins of the world's oldest civilization, today flood with the blood of Iraqis. Have you seen a mother wail for her dead child? Have you seen the woman of Gaza form a human chain from the north to the south of the Strip to protest the siege of their lives? Have you seen the children of Gaza carried around in coffins anticipating their own death? I am done beseeching Western audiences to give a damn. The truth lies naked in the infernos of Palestine and Iraq. But in the noise of your corporate media on an, and on the cadaver of your newspaper, you prefer it with clothes on. Do you find it strange that we, can't, that we don't even have a consensus on the number of Iraqis who have perished in this war? We know the number of dollars spent, and we know the number of dead American soldiers but we don't know the number of dead Iraqis. In past wars, we rejected references to victims in numbers. We said, with righteous indignation, numbers are dehumanizing. We demanded instead to know the names of victims and to learn their stories. We wanted to put a human face on each victim. Today, we are begging just to know the number of Iraqis that have died. They can otherwise remain nameless, faceless. Imagine that. We are shamelessly begging for the numbers. We even promise not to be indignant, we say. Just give us an accurate number. Is it 80,000? Or is it a million? You see, I need to know whether to mourn 80,000 times or a million times over. Alas, Iraqi deaths pose a statistical mystery. With all our scientific advances, and yet we stand mouths gaping before the enigma of our Iraqi victims, unable to count. Let's visit the graveyards, for they are plentiful. Let's open up the graves and let's count. One, two, three. Go! No.